Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Capacity Moon 90, and welcome back to Robocop The Rogue City. Right now, I'm on the case of Mike, but right now he's missing, and his wife seems to be concerned about a friend of his, sort of. Pick Pickles. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. I feel like it should be. <laughs> it's not what I heard. Well... I hope you'll at least give it back to Mike. I gotta find Mike, but first I gotta find his kid. I don't know where to start looking, but he said something about a playground, playing basketball. Kid likes to stay physically fit. I appreciate that. Well, I hope the kid doesn't think too much of me. Mike and Alex were pretty close, and they were partners back in the day. Heck, I'm pretty sure they're still partners now. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um... Are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Uh-oh. Ah, <sighs> someone's body. What's up? Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. <sighs> Is a metal shell all you see when you look at me? Shit. Is he always like that? That's right. He's one existential motherfucker. And that's why we're a team. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. As a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Huh? Oh boy. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. Only a hundred? I guess we're conducting an investigation. Mm. Believe me, it's not the worst thing in the world. Something's off. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. I'm gonna take a wild guess. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. What is Nuke? I know it's some type of wonder drug. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. <laughs> <sighs> Whew, nothing like a little hard labor to get some hair in your chest. What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. What? Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? 
Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no, it's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not my... Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say- Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. No kidding. Come on, sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. I like this guy. He seems to be speaking a lot of you truth bombs. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. It better be a good one. Right? Right. It's late. <laughs> Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She no. doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. I wish there were more guys on Earth like him. Wow. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Got it. I'm heading off to the station right now. Considering I got nothing better to do. But, I have to admit, that was a nice wholesome story. I wish there were more people like him. Maybe it is best to have guys like him on the inside of the force. Maybe it is best to leave him, like, I don't know about out here, but he really talked a good deal about the right thing. Oh, man. This would really get a robot or an AI to ask a few questions about humanity. If I ever get the chance to talk to an AI, I would like to see its reaction with certain movies and a gas station named Hell. <laughs> oh my god. Well. <sighs> I better get back to my vehicle. After all, I've been through a lot. Yeah, I think I've done. Let's get going.
Where is Mike? What happened to him? Who's this? Oh no, the new guy pro. I hope he doesn't have him. But he says that there's a new place out of his jurisdiction. But where? Out of Detroit? I have so many questions. Oh well, you know the old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. This is where Soot is supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. True. Or at least I will not feel bad crashing his party. <laughs> not Murphy, bad. I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. Don't say and that. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. She's a lot of just trip take this bombs. little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Um. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. All right. I just hope you don't get shot. I'm surprised I haven't. Concert in an old slaughterhouse. I suppose it fits those animals. Perhaps. This looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let's head up those stairs. Ah. Uh. Mm. Must not exactly be fresh anymore. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, boy. Oh, <sighs> the stench. Someone missed potty training. I don't think that's... I don't think that's sewage. New King. Hmm. King! Of course, he was the original owner of Nuke. He's the one who built it all, and burnt it down to the ground. He was the first Robocop, too. He's the one who left me in pieces. And the OCPD had me reprogrammed in order to make me obsolete. So they could build Robocop, too, and replace me. If Sid is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. <laughs> I get ya. Who knows? Maybe this might be interesting after all. Wait. I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes, I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh shit! Pig found our lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? All day. Justice never sleeps. Oh man, I didn't want there to be any trouble, but.
how you I'll like being in the next garbage man. I see how you like being the main force. discovered a Torchhead's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Let's hurry up. They probably know we're here. The way they handle those drugs, I doubt they know where they are. <sighs> Another locked door. I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. They're all yours, partner. Got heavy artillery. Wait a minute, there's one more thug in there. May as well read him his last rites. This building is clear. Let's head outside. No need to tell me twice, officer. Doesn't look like it can mm. violate. Gives me the that opportunity. Having a conversational partner comes in handy. Okay there, Murphy? Behind you! Uh, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us. Okay. Uh, that's a thing. Oh boy. Oh no. A suicide bomb. I'm invincible! It's gonna go
Target's eliminated. Let's split up. You clear this floor. I'll check upstairs. Lewis, wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact. <sighs> uh oh. Seems kind of rough. Sometimes even the police require military. We're getting close. And I found the slaughter part of the slaughterhouse. You took my freaking hand off! Now well, you'll still be alive for your trial. I've got eyes on the stage. Looks like you haven't realized we're here yet. Look here. Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad? Um, I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. It's supposed to be rock. I guess that's the problem with the people in the future. They've forgotten what it's like to be free. I really hate to crash a party, but in this case... Joker on stage. Help me. I like this music. Nice. No way. Just look at this, everybody. A walking disco ball decided to join us. Now the real show is about to go down. If you're a real torch head, shoot that motherfucking tin can till it fucking rattles. And I'll take this opportunity to moisturize these golden vocal cords. All right. Stay right there, everybody. All right, Joker. I'm taking you in. this Call of Duty Zombie games. You may be a celebrity. I wonder. All right. I just need. I can still. Dead or alive? I had everything lined up perfectly. 
All right, Joker. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away! You can't touch me! I do business with the new guy! You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me! Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant! Then, get ready for a meltdown. <laughs> you... That's quite a grip you got there! Now, what would be the best way to deal with someone like you? I guess we're doing this from this way. Ah, oh, well. I was hoping to do something epic, but... Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Huh. I can't do anything then. <gasps> oh, please! No, oh, can't. Hmm. That's odd. Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! Oh, and what about this? Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! Oh, really? What about this? No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! Oh, that's too bad, because I like breaking stuff, especially expensive stuff. I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. Oh, you, I'm sorry, say that again? Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! Famous, my eye. Mm hmm. Oh, hell. Zero, five, one, one. Uh huh. How about this? Knock yourself out. That's not even mine. Hmm. Oh, there it is. You know my birthday? I don't remember getting a gift from you. That's not nice. True, but, uh... Hey, that stuff doesn't come cheap! That's... So what? That's I... enough! I'll talk! So you want me to just wreck the place? Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. I don't trust... Why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Oh, no. Good thing I didn't kill you. Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Oh, can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess! Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. That's part of my programming. I don't know who this uh, new guy- That was an awesome concert! If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. Well, I need some flu. I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. Really? You couldn't have come up with a better tune? <laughs> Sheesh, even I could come up with a better tune. And I'm a cop. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? I wish I could. Believe me, but this is my good arm. I need this gun. Oh, what the? Something's happening. It's those 
officers that are over CP. They're fucked with my program. What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Something. What? What the hell? Something's wrong. What's happening? Uh, great. Don't tell me I'm and running your in. Your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? I'm trying, but I feel like I'm running into Scarecrow. What the? Holy sh! What's wrong? Piggy scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Shut up, Joker. I know you're a part of this. The problem is you're not the main thug. Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. No, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Uh, the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's right, are you got there? <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. Killed the Joker! Uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, Murphy, what's happening? It's that chip! That chip! Well, we've got that out of the way. Let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. What? <sighs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But, thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. How dare you! Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. Don't you No dare. attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me. So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. What are you saying? This Don't! This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! No! Lewis! <clears throat> Lois was my best partner. She's been in every Robocop movie. You son of a bitch! What I did to your brother was nothing compared to what I'm gonna do to you! You sick fuck! No! I need to get her to a hospital quickly. There has to be something I can do to help her. Maybe they can... Another wanna... fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switch him back on already. 
Lewis! Oh, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? No. I that's... want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny. In that, you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. Alex. Alex Murphy. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences, but I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a cybernetic organism, a fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. An Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear us? 
I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. Thank you. Well, it looks like that's all the time I got left for this episode. Well, I missed you people. My partner got shot and I had therapy done. It looks like that's all the time I got left for this episode. So I want to say thank you everybody so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, share, and or subscribe. And check out the other list of videos that I've done in the past. And who knows? We'll see what happens later in the future. End transmission for now. Bye-bye.